For this particular problem, it says nickel 2 carbonate has a KSP value of 6.6 .6 times 10 to the minus 9. If you have a solution of nickel 2 carbonate that has a carbonate ion concentration equal to 8.1 times 10 to the minus 5th molarity or moles per liter, the solution is dot, dot, dot. And this uh, bar over here on the left is covering up the circles for saturated, supersaturated, or unsaturated. Uh, this will be a problem that if and when you see it on an exam, it will probably say, show your work for any credit. So we will show our work. Um, so the question is, when we have this KSP value, is the concentration that we get going to be larger, smaller, or the same? Then the 8.1 times 10 to the minus fifth. If it's exactly the same as this 8.1 times 10 to the minus fifth, that would be saturated. If it is more, higher than this value, then it would be supersaturated. And if it's lower, that would be unsaturated. So let's see what we get here. So KSP. Is going to be so for nickel carbonate. That's going to be nickel ion plus carbonate ion. One to one, meaning there's only one of each of those. Molarity ice table. And we have a solid, so we don't care about that one. We have zero and zero, plus x and plus x, just x's because each of their coefficients is a 1. So the KSP value is going to be equal to uh, concentration of nickel times concentration of carbonate, uh, which will be just x times x, or x squared. So you can plug in your KSP value. You can solve for your x. And since each of these is just x, you can uh, determine your concentration and then compare it to the value that's given there. 